UAB is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Navy staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down at about the 45. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. They don't get it. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He might not be able to get the pass off. Going for it all to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. The offense took an errant shot into the end zone, and I'll tell you what, that one should have been picked off. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to hear all about that from his teammates when he comes over to the sidelines. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's been a good day for this linebacker, making a lot of plays. Well, this is the kind of guy that any defensive coach just loves. He's a tough guy, he's not afraid to mix it up, and he always seems to be around the football. He'd love to be able to give some momentum to his offense by leading a three and out here. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. That's a game made on the ground. That makes it second and two. Let's set a tone. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Nice run there. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. First down. run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Brought down at the 48. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. Mike 51, Mike. That makes 
first and ten. He's tackled at the 50. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Second down and 12. Ball on the 50-yard line. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. Makes it out to about the 39. Tackle at about the 39 yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Play fake, looking to run. And he's taken down at the 47. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Throwing on the run, and he pulls it in. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. From the 15-yard line. First down. Look at a scramble now. He can't get away from the pressure. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Larry, Larry. 31's the mic. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Let's go. Come on. Here's the tight end, drops. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. This one's going deep to the end zone. Missed him. Incomplete pass. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. UAB could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. The Blazers have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he's leveled at the 24-yard line. So at the end of one, the Blazers lead 3-0.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He fields the punt at the 20. He's tackled at the 32. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. UAB has a three-point lead. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Call it again in three yards. Third down. Two tights, two tights. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Let's go! Black with the five! And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have played fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Ready. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. Steam on that throw. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. UAB holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled at the 27. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. the middle they go to the left for a nice game so we got a few yards on that carry if you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that you can really start to wear a defense down 10th play of the drive they'll bring him down at the 11 yard line very solid gain through the air I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Play fake and looking to run. The Blazers use their second timeout. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. They go to the ground game and they'll get him in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Play 13 of the current drive. Tackle made just outside the goal line. From the one yard line, third down. Let's go, let's go. They put everyone up on the line. Easy, easy, easy. 
touchdown, UAB. And he converts the extra point. A 14-play, 67-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 10-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think Follow the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. From their own 25-yard line, second down. It's on the ground, and the ball bounces out of bounds. Third and about 13 yards. Ball on the 22. Around the 28-yard line. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. The Blazers using their third and last timeout. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23. 31's the mic. Let's go. Get to that quickly. He's hit and taken down. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle, chip, eagle, chip. That'll make it 35. 10, 5, 50. 5, 50. Motion, motion, motion. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and it's good. <laughs> UAB gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And he's hit immediately. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Throws this one away. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's 
taken down at the 38. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs, and the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense, but clearly the offensive coordinator is very happy about the execution on that last play. That'll bring up second and 15. Well, we played a half of football. The Blazers with a 13-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams, though, continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now, listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. a great tackle at the 39. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Caught with room to work. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Caught out in the open. Good tackle there in space. That makes it first and ten. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Ready! And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Brought down at the 36. Second and 12. Got one, got one. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 38. Quick throw to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34. This is the ninth play of this drive. He 
can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of eight yards. That brings up fourth and 15. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Blazers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Tackle at the 46-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. And hits him hard. Six. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to pump this one away. On third down, the defense was protecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second half. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds around the 46-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Out around the 48 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The halfback right here, and they make the stop at around the 48 yard line. No gain. Third down. down 10 yards to go ball on the 43 yard line gets to about the 41 yard line
the corner, the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. This is the eighth play of this drive. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? The Blazers with a 16-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. 30 was the mic. Let's go! Inside the 10. Touchdown! Huge play! And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 80-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of picking up the play calling on that drop. I thought the defense was on it feels most of the drive because of the versatility. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 27. Scrambling. He's to the 40. He lost the ball. The defense scoops it up. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra steps, and those might have been open. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 38-yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made. 23 yards. That'll bring up 36. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Hey, watch 11, watch 11. And he has it on the corner. Out of bounds at the 33. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks away. And he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes in the end zone down for a touchback. The Blazers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. That brings us 
second and nine. Just under three to go in regulation. Scrambling around. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. That's a team of 10 on the First down. Let's go! He fights forward to about the 43. play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. They bring the quarterback down. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. He really got a hold of that one. Runs with it, and the ball comes loose. Recovered by the defense. The Blazers came out. Man, they were on a mission, it seemed like, from the opening kickoff. They didn't let up. Yeah, I think somebody forgot to tell them that they're supposed to be heavy underdogs in this game. But they have really shown everybody, you and I and everybody watching this game, they are a team to be taken seriously. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. All the game at two yards. Just over a minute left. And now he's got room to run. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. That makes it Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 98. Flag, 98. Excellent open field tackle. He's to the 40, and he tackles him hard at the 45. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Navy staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.